This is going to be fun, Garrett. Mitch Jackson, my co-founder, Garrett Jackson of the Maneuver Agency. And we've got Matt Hendrick on today. Garrett, I'm excited. Oh, I'm so excited to show off his work, his spaces, all the stuff that he's doing. So what's with the hat thing? Is this a father-son type <laughs> of, uh, is this the way we roll? Yeah, I think I think it goes, it pairs nicely with having quite the set of hair these days and <laughs> needing a haircut. Yeah, well, you know, at least at least you have a dad that still has lots of hair. That's something you can look forward to. But in the metaverse, it doesn't really matter, right? In the metaverse, oh. we can create any type of hairstyle, Amen. clothing, look that we want. And it's really a cool environment. So what's happening right now, everyone, as you're coming in is Garrett and I are broadcasting live across all the socials. If you can't stay for the entire show, don't worry. It is recorded. You can watch it later. We are going to have Matt Hendrick meet with us and join us from his Metaverse penthouse. He's getting ready for a big art show this weekend. And uh, Garrett, just a little bit about Maneuver for people coming in. We're already getting questions. That's really cool. You know, what Garrett and I are doing is we have an agency where we help traditional businesses transition or maneuver into the Metaverse. We show everyone what works. Mm -hmm. We offer turnkey solutions. And we also offer customized venues. So without further ado, what I'd like to do is why don't we put on Matt, one of Matt's YouTube videos, which will do a much better job of explaining where Matt's coming from than, than you and I can. Does that sound like a plan? Sounds awesome. I think All a right. lot of people will appreciate this right now. Yeah. And it's just a couple minutes long, everyone. And then we're going to bounce directly from the YouTube video over into Matt's spatial penthouse. When I was 21, when I was going to college, I was in a car accident. When you have a spinal cord injury, I find you stay in your left brain almost all the time. You're thinking about the physics of moving your body. I love to do the painting um, because it brings you back into the right side and kind of balances you out a little bit. I tried to do art before with my hands and it wasn't real detailed or accurate. And then I had the idea of maybe putting the brush in my mouth. It's kind of like a meditation. And uh, time flies by. And it's a, it's a fun thing and it clears my mind. I don't have to worry about things. Mostly I use three colors because it's kind of difficult for me to mix my paint. So I really focus on a minimal amount of paint and positive and negative space. I kind of like to keep it simple style, not take too long to do a painting. Kind of keeps it uh, easier on the, the neck muscles. I love that. God, that video. I've watched that a dozen times at this point, I think. What do you say we just bounce over and say hi to Matt in his penthouse right now? Sounds great. All right. Let me, you're going to be, I guess we're both going to be joining Matt inside the penthouse, correct? Yep. I'm hopping. All right. So we've got different windows here, everyone. Garrett and I are both going to be meeting Matt via our avatars. And once we get in here, Garrett, I'm going to mute everyone except you and Matt and uh, give me a thumbs up or something if there's an issue, okay? I'm watching your video feed in StreamYard. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Hello, can you hear me in 
the space. You are muted. No, no. You also have two avatars in here. Hi, so. oh, guys. That. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Just trying to get my dad's microphone to work right now. I think we're good. I had two oh. sessions running. Uh, I can hear oh, you and Matt just fine. You're good. You're good, Garrett. Oh, all right, there we go. Okay, so Matt, you have a big event this weekend. I would love if you could tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Um, it's an art festival called the Shine Festival uh, in downtown Denver at Civic Center Park. And I was asked to be uh, one of the vendors there and do a live painting throughout the concerts. And um, I said, yes, yeah, so I'm going to be down there. That is so exciting. If anyone listening is in the area, please go check that out if you can. Um, so what were you thinking with this metaverse environment and how are you looking to use it at this upcoming uh, gallery presentation? Well, I had the idea of kind of having uh, a QR code out there that links to this penthouse and uh, encourage people to come in and uh, sign up for the raffle and check out the art. And I'll be raffling off uh, one piece of the piece that I'm working on um, at the end of the, uh, the festival. Oh my God, that, that is so exciting. Like, I, I'm, it's just so cool to see how artists are using the creative aspects of their art and then transferring it to the metaverse. Um, I think being such an early adopter is going to do wonders for you. And I think it's just a cool, unique experience you're going to be able to offer people. If Mitch, if you could show them a little tour around, we have at the entrance, we have the QR code for your raffle where people can either scan or click to sign up. Uh, that way they're connected to your email listing so they can reach out to you in the future. You can reach out to them, talk about new drops. And I think what's so cool is that you are just not working on art in the real world. You're working on an NFT gallery. And I think this is the perfect transition into that. So do you want to tell us a little bit about your meta bugs? Yeah, well, meta bugs are, uh, they're a bunch of portraits that I started doing about five or six years ago. And um, I'm a mouth painter. Obviously I'm a quadriplegic and in the real world, you wouldn't be able to tell by my avatar, which is kind of neat, but uh, I started mouth painting and um, I just started doing portraits and uh, I just accumulated like 50 of them over the past few years and then NFTs came out. So I decided to make, a, make them into the Metabog Gallery. Oh, this is incredible. Here, let's go outside and take a peek at some of them and get a little okay. taste of what they look like. This stuff is incredible, everyone. I, so how do you decide, just a personal question, like what coloration, what uh, type of frame you're going to use for your art when you're designing these? Do you have a different idea in mind when you're painting a meta mug for some of your other art? What is that process like? Well, I... Um... I kind of, I like to take a black canvas or a white canvas. And then um, like if I take a black one, I'll put out uh, three highlight colors and then I'll kind of look at the image and see, I'm trying to get out there to you guys. Don't worry. Um, and uh, I'll paint just the three highlight values. So yeah, here's some black canvases out here. And, you know, it's basically three colors. And I just kind of look at it and kind of get lost and paint for like six, seven, eight hours. And I do it all at once. It's a process called uh, Primavera, I think. And it's oil paint. And I, I use oil paint because 
it doesn't dry real quickly. So we can mix the palette and it'll stay wet for the whole day and sometimes into the next day. Oh, that is incredible. So how are you thinking you're going to utilize this space at the upcoming event? Are you going to put out QR codes and hope people join their phones? What would you ideally like and how people can access this event? Well, yeah, that's, that's the, uh, the raffle is the, the way to encourage them to, to scan the code and then they'll have to get spatial, the, the app spatial if they don't have it already. But I think it's a good way to get people to first understand that this is a thing and then, you know, maybe get inside and come in and check out the artwork. Because I don't know about you guys, but the first time I got in one of these penthouses, it blew my mind. You know, I couldn't believe how how cool it was. And, and the avatars uh, with Ready Player Me are, it's, it's me. You know, if you look at my face right now, it's yeah. so cool. No, it's awesome technology. I think you're right. People don't realize how unique the spaces are until they come in. And I think finding this perfect fit for you with the NFT gallery is just going to do great things for the people that get to see your work and appreciate it. Because one, I think the art holds up fantastically in the metaverse. You know, you, you worry about importing if it's going to maintain its quality. But as we can see, this looks phenomenal. Just every single piece. Yeah. Sure, absolutely. Let's go. Yeah. And over Peter room. This is pretty cool. I think this gives a nice taste of who Matt is, a little bit of his background, imagery, so you can appreciate what he's doing because it is incredible. And also here is a link that people can come in, they can scan, or if you're on desktop, you can also click and it'll take you straight to Matt's MetaMug collection, which these are thrown up throughout the space just so that people coming in have the option. They can hop over, they see a piece they like, oh my god, I want to buy that over easily. You can click on the images too and get your own meta mug. Yeah, this looks fantastic. It's fantastic how the, you did a good job. Ah, oh, thank you. Do you guys want to head upstairs too? Why not? Do it. Head on this way, Mitch. Yeah, I think you said it best, Matt. When people come in here and they actually get to experience the space, it's one, just an experience being here, being in the environment, seeing your avatars, and then another thing to show how it can be used in a business and artistic sense. I mean, it's just, it's so fun, too, to introduce people. I see we have one question about uh, integrating NFTs and purchasing them on site. So as of right now, Spatial, you can upload the NFTs and have the actual NFT in your property. But in order to buy it, you're going to have to go through OpenSea. I think just for security purposes, that's a little bit better right now. They haven't really worked on that set of integration. But that's why we have each of these images, as you can see, are all linked to his OpenSea. And we have QR codes around the property to redirect people there as seamlessly and frictionlessly as possible.
didn't interfere at all. We're just showing the spaces. And I think that's really useful information for people that don't realize that you can directly connect like that. <clears throat> Again, over here in our theater room, this is all adjustable as well in the future. And I think that's going to be nice for you, Matt, is that we can always come back in here when you have a different draw and we can swap out all the images and keep a template of this so that you have both available to you. Oh, that would be really nice. Oh, I was just uh, commenting on what uh, Garrett had said about uh, saving the template and uh, having the ability to, to uh, put up all my new work. I have another collection that I'll, I'll probably be wanting to do that uh, uh, soon because Meta Mugs, there's like eight or ten pieces left, but they're going to go quickly. So I want to load up my new one. <laughs> that's really exciting and that's something we're going to be happy to help with if you need we'd love i mean you can incorporate and set up portals to other galleries so someone can come up here and when they get to this top floor we can place a portal that leads them to your next collection and just have all of them linked together and essentially have your own museum of your art Thanks guys, I am so happy I met you and I, I hope to work with you more in the future. We're so happy to have met you too and it's been awesome working with you, Matt. Great. Okay. Yeah, let's, we're gonna go show them that. Um, do you wanna hop out of this space first? You too, guys. I'll be in touch Hi, soon. Good to see Have you. Good afternoon. All right. We're back. I think we are back. I just wanted to share with everyone the back piece that. show, my friend. You might be muted. I don't think I am muted, actually. Or hit it. Or it's just me now. So. I am unmuted. Well, assuming that I am the only one here still, I will answer your question real quick, Michael. Um, I did talk to Matt a little bit about how his entities have helped him promote his go. artwork. And, oh, are you back? We're back. So the trick I was to hear you. Maybe that's on my end. I'm done. Yeah. Yes, that was on my end. But. All right. So the trick with StreamYard, everyone, and Garrett, just so you know, because we're going to be doing a lot more walkthroughs is you were looking at me and talking to me down in the green room. Mm -hmm. Once I bring you up on the screen, we're live again. I, I was just going to say, this is Matt's second piece that he painted with his mouth. And I was fortunate, it's titled Becky, and I was fortunate enough to be able to pick it up as a piece for my collection. And I'm sharing this on Instagram, but I just wanted everyone to, to take a look at it. Garrett, you were saying something, and while you're sharing, I'm going to be uh, taking us over to... Uh, to match OpenSea account. Okay, yeah, I was just answering Michael's question about how NFTs has helped him promote his artwork and story. And I think for him, what's so exciting about this is this is just the start of it. I think it, he's just now realizing, oh, there's all this potential out there with NFTs, just like so many people are, is that he's actually taking the jump to put his artwork as NFTs in a metaverse. So what comes with it is not just a unique experience on how to get his art, but while you're there and you can stop by his spaces, you saw we have videos of his story and we can make those spaces tell a story about an artist or a business so that they can sell their products, sell their NFTs and just drive new customers in. So many options. And we're learning every day on how to tap into the power and leverage these options in a way where 
For example, Matt is now connecting with people around the world. And uh, Garrett, I found out this morning, um, he actually may be featured by one of the major uh, metaverse uh, brands for what he's doing. So I'm excited That's about so cool. that. We're at uh, Matt's OpenSea account. And uh, this is uh, Meta Mugs. And I'm just going to scroll through quickly and show everyone. And this is his, just his most recent collection. He's going to add more. Let's go ahead and hit play. I'm just curious to see how this works on StreamYard. God, that is incredible. It really is. So let's go back to MetaMugs. I want that piece. <laughs> Honestly, well, all you need to do saw. So all you need to do, and I'm getting a couple of messages in. I'm not sure who it is because unless you've registered, it doesn't show your name. Uh, but the way it works, everyone, is this is OpenSea. And this is one of many uh, NFT portfolio platforms. You can upload your, your work, whether it's me on my paddleboard or taking a run with my GoPro, whether it's Matt painting the way he's painting. His paintings are much more interesting than what I'm doing. But you can set these up and then as a consumer, you can go, you can click and you can purchase this work. And the prices you see are the prices that are for sale. This is an Ethereum, Ethereum. And once you purchase this, it goes into your digital wallet. You can then take that item and pretty much do whatever you want with it, depending on the terms and conditions of the sale but I'm just thumbing through and sharing some of the things that uh, Matt's working on. It's so cool. And and being able to see it in the metaverse is pretty cool too. And it, we were just in there on our desktops viewing the gallery, but when you actually put on the, you know, your Oculus or whatever device you mm. have to access facial, it's like you're actually at an art gallery standing there appreciating what's in front of you. That's a really, that's a really important point being it's one thing to try to appreciate what we're watching through a flat screen. It's another thing, everyone. And, and Garrett and I joke about this. Trying to tell people about the metaverse is, is like trying to give somebody a haircut over the telephone. It's impossible. But when you put that headset on, you feel like you're in the penthouse. You feel like you're in the art gallery and you can reach out. And oftentimes, because these are 3D objects, you can actually manipulate if they're not pinned or locked down. You can take an object and look at it and hand it to somebody else. It, it's an amazing experience. I think, well, that word right there is, I think the difference is instead of viewing and looking at art, you're experiencing it. And I think that's what the metaverse brings. And that's what bringing on the goggles brings. Absolutely. Let's uh, quickly bounce over to Matt's Instagram account. Because he transitions, it looks to me, as to different topics, as to different types of portraits. And these are his latest, uh, top to right, uh, left to right, with the top left being the most recent. Is this displaying at your end, Garrett? I'm in another yeah. screen. Okay. I'm just silent and off because I just, it's yeah. so cool. Also, guys, please check out his account. We saw at the top, if you scroll back up, it's Matt Hendrick Art. Give them a follow. Stay in touch because there's Absolutely. something you'll like. <laughs> Absolutely. Make sure to follow uh, Matt. He's out of Denver, Colorado. This has been very, very cool. I'm so glad that we had the chance to uh, to profile what Matt's doing. Here, I want to wrap things up, take people over to uh, our new and updated Maneuver website. And hopefully it's displaying. It Garrett is. and I, yes, we, we've been able to set this up. We're at the top. Uh, you can click on uh, recommendations, different venues, different properties that we offer, whether they're turnkey or customizable solutions, resources with literally dozens, if not hundreds of links and articles and Web3 content that's available to you from the resource link. And then the Metaverse Society, which is something Garrett and I are putting together. We feel very strong. We feel very, very strong about the need for us to uh, conduct ourselves with very high ethics in the metaverse spaces to watch out for community members. And we're looking for other people interested in helping us lead the way through the development of the, of the metaverse, 
frankly, for the good of mankind, for the good of business owners, for the good of people like Matt, where we can all in a very inclusive fashion leverage the power of these new technologies. And so we're, we're taking the reins and we encourage anyone that shares that same vision to click on the Metaverse Society and get up to speed on what we're doing. We've got a Discord that uh, we just opened up this week. As you scroll down the website, and I wanna do this quickly because this video is all about Matt, but we share the different options and solutions. Uh, everything you need to get started, to get up to speed can be found uh, here at the site. We've got some kind testimonials from some friends of ours. And uh, the email updates will let you know when the next show, when the next walkthrough, when the next interview happens. Uh, as we roll out products and services, we'll share those updates with you. Oftentimes, there'll be discounts and specials. One thing, Garrett, we just rolled out today that I'm excited about, I want to play it, uh, is the new urban uh, venue. And this is for street artists and photographers and people that, that uh, well, you know what? Once again, why give you a bowl of soup with a fork when I can give it to you with a big soup spoon, right? Right. <laughs> is the volume playing at your end? Yes. A little quiet, but it's good. It's just a cool, whole new aesthetic. It really is. Several of Garrett's Gen Z friends and clients, I think, would be able to put on a nice event here. Yeah. Also, let's say Matt comes out with a more grungy, this aesthetic type of art campaign. Then we put a portal and we can link his pet house straight here. One thing Garrett and I are thinking about is if creating your own or purchasing a property isn't in your budget, we may be renting or leasing these properties out for a weekend art show, for example. All right. All right, my man. That brings us back, I think, to the end of today's walkthrough. That was fun. Always good that to see you. Fun. It's good to see you. Great to hang out with Matt and showcase his work. So let's let's not go into too much detail, but let's let our audience know that we had the opportunity to take a peek at some exciting properties uh, coming down the pipeline mm -hmm. from, from some leading metaverse companies that we're using to help help design our products and services. And they're mind blowing, Garrett. They're That's, mind blowing, right? It's like- It's exciting. I can't wait till we can share with everyone what these options are. I know Garrett's also playing around with uh, with creating some amazing private office, office spaces, mm -hmm. which uh, which I'm really excited to roll those out once uh, once I get the green light from my co-founder. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but this will be fun. So any any uh, parting uh, comments, any thoughts, any tips, any uh, any any words of encouragement for people out there, Garrett, uh, thinking about expanding their brand into Web3 and the metaverse, thinking about, you know, I kind of like what I'm seeing, but I'm not really sure where to start or if, if this will work with my business, with my company. Mm -hmm. What are some things that maybe they should think about? I think step one, start. I don't think I'm a big proponent of you don't know what you don't know until you know. So get into the metaverse, see what it has to offer for you. And I promise you're going to realize it is so much more than you ever thought of initially or could have thought of on your own. So just hop in there, start getting involved in these spaces, whether it's spatial, other environments, and just start seeing how it can benefit your business. Because one way or another, there's something. It may not be a gallery for you, but it may be a good consultation room. It may be a good presentation room where you bring in clients, show them PDFs and have imagery for them. And I think there's a use for everyone, but it's only a matter of time before you get left in the dust by the people who are going to do it. So get that, get out there and do it. Get out there and just do it. Absolutely. Well, Garrett, it was good to see you. And I can't wait until next week. We'll do a couple more walkthroughs of some other properties. And between, uh, between now and the next show, everyone out there, enjoy your journey in real life and... 
in the metaverse and never stop making each day your masterpiece. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, guys. <clears throat>